the Coelodonta, or more commonly known as the Woolly Rhino. A majestic, beautiful beast from the Ice Age. Coelodontars first appeared on the planet during the late Pliocene, dating approximately 3.7 million years ago. It is believed that rhinos evolved from tapirs around 40 million years ago in North America. As they spread across the planet, they evolved into a variety of different forms. Perhaps the most bizarre was the Paraceratherium, an ancient hornless rhino that grew enormous in size. But eventually this giant became extinct. 20 million years later, the planet began to cool. The Ice Age had finally begun. As temperatures plummeted and sea ice and glaciers spread from the northern hemisphere of the planet, animals had to adapt. And so the rhinos living in the north evolved a thick layer of fat and coarse dark brown hair to help insulate their bodies from the cold very much like their Ice Age neighbours, the famous woolly mammoths. They shared a similar diet, feeding off tough grasses of the steppes, a vast cold grassland of Asia, its chief habitat. While the woolly mammoths migrated from Europe to North America by a land bridge, strangely, the woolly rhino did not. They were not the brightest of beasts either. They had small brains and bad eyesight. Instead, they had to rely on their other senses, hearing and smell. If a Coelodontar did pick up an unfamiliar scent or sound, it would automatically go into defense mode and most likely charge. The horns of this beast were not made of bone, but instead they were made from a very different type of material. Keratin. Keratin is a fibrous protein and a key structural material, making up scales, hair, nails, feathers, horns, claws, and even hooves. Over millions of years of evolution, the fibrous hairs have compressed to create a hard, pointed and extremely dangerous weapon. The front horn, known as the anterior horn, could grow up to two meters in length. Wear on the lower surface of the horn suggests that they may have been used to sweep snow away from their food. To support such a heavy horn, Coelodonta had a large muscular hump on top of its back and neck. It also contained large amounts of fat reserves to help the animal through harsh winters. These large muscles meant that Coelodonta could wield its two meter long weapon with incredible power. And it most certainly needed to. The Pleistocene was littered with ferocious predators. such as the saber-toothed cats. 
a single saber tooth would struggle to take on such a formidable opponent. But these cats work together in prides. Like modern day lions do today on the plains of Africa, saber tooths work together as a team to bring down their prey. However, they had to be cautious. Woolly rhinos were about the same size and weight as modern day white rhinoceros, with the largest individuals weighing in at three and a half tons. It may be surprising that these animals can reach speeds over 30 miles per hour. And the last thing that you want is to be on the receiving end of a two meter long horn traveling at 30 miles per hour from an animal that weighs three and a half tons because it might just ruin your day. Thank you for watching. Make our day. Hit that subscribe button, give us a like and drop a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Do you want to see another Paleo Profile? Click here to see the mighty Woolly Mammoth.